In previous videos, we used the HackRF to capture packets from our Chinese diesel heater. These we'll use to program in an Arduino to hook to our Home Assistant. That way we can automate the heater from our Home Assistant and control it anytime, anywhere. So I hooked up the scope and I watched the GDO2 pin, which is supposed to go high when the FIFO buffer gets data. And I, I didn't think there was anything going on. And then all of a sudden it triggered and the code worked. So with any luck here, I'll just cut to it. Okay, maybe I won't. This is maybe the problem. I'm seeing the GDO2 being asserted on the scope but we're not getting triggered here. So the monitoring of that pin is the problem. Uh, it doesn't realize that there's data in the buffer. So there, it finally triggered. There we go. Uh, number of bytes, zero, but the GDO2 was asserted and there we're getting it again. Oh, and it's triggering a whole bunch of times on the scope. Maybe that's the problem. It's triggering too much. It's triggering too soon and there's no bytes in there. Or it's flushing first. I'm not sure which, but we're getting there. Using the hack RF to replay back, we're able to do the things. Actually, hack RF isn't playing now. Why are we triggering? Maybe we weren't, it was just triggered. No, we we're triggering. Where is it getting that? It's triggering that pin a whole bunch of times. Huh. Well, that ain't right. <laughs> Time to read. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. So I think I actually got the register settings from ChatGPT on the GDO2, and I think it was right. If I change the register setting for... Uh, IO CFG2, so IO config 2, I guess. If we change that to 0x06, that seems to change the way the GDO2 gets asserted, but still not right. There's still something wrong. We'll try again. I'm going to reprogram this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this video. I might just put it up raw just to show how one can bash their head against the wall and continue to be stubborn until at least we're this far. There. Already triggered nicely. Let's get serial going. I don't know why it triggered though. Look at all these triggers. They shouldn't be there. There's no data coming into this. There's nothing on the spectrum to speak of. Let's just check. Nothing. And why does it trigger that much? Like, what is that? Does it go high with every bite? It's weird. Okay, it hasn't triggered in a little bit. So let's go here, go to replay. Open file. There, it just went banana pants. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is the recording. Those look like packets? But I, I'm not 
it's not the code isn't detecting that it isn't picking up that the GDO2 is asserted at all yeah that's got to be does it go high for I got to read the data sheet it must go high on everything no there's nothing there either way it doesn't matter what that is we're not picking it up on the ESP32 it isn't recognizing that that pin is going high it did like once twice you saw but it isn't recognizing that that's the problem so it's not it's not receiving what's it's not decoding what's in the buffer Whew, this is a mess well this is definitely not right even chat GPT tells me that that data sheet reads that the GDO2 should only go high per packet so it should assert when a packet is received and deassert when the FIFO is empty when the first in first out is empty that's not what this is doing it's when the receiver is enabled, that's when we're getting the packets. Right after the flush, the flush clears it out. Interesting. And I'm not feeding anything any data. The SDR is not transmitting. There's nothing going on. This makes no sense. Any RF geniuses out there? What in the heck is going on? Should go high until the packet is received and remain high until the FIFO is empty. So empty, 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 empty. So it's emptying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the TX side, because we do 10 bursts. That makes sense, it's clearing it out. Oh. Okay, the transmit side has to go through the buffer as well, derp. It is pretty damn cool that I can track what's going on at the same time on the SDR waterfall as my serial data from the ESP and watch it on the scope. That is pretty damn handy. I have to say that HackRF is pretty cool to be able to do the replay and live test things. That I didn't anticipate being quite as handy as what it is for stuff like this. A lot of people use it for just replay attacks on things like Tesla doors and whatnot, but this is a pretty cool use for it. I haven't got to the bottom yet, but I'm sure uh, having a little bit more fun now that we actually got data going out into the air. That makes me happy. <sighs> we just can't understand what's coming back.